Hey guys, so today I'm doing my OPI and China Glaze Nail Polish collection. Now, I don't have a lot, like I don't have a big collection anymore like I used to because I kind of culled through and got rid of everything that I didn't wear very much. So now you're going to be seeing basically my favorites, um, which I think is better that way. Now, I think this is perfect timing because you are going to be seeing me wearing a lot of my gold glitters and most of my gold and gold glitters are from China Glaze and OPI. So this is really perfect timing. Um, in fact, I'll show you what I'm wearing today right now. So this color here is actually a combination. I do have a Zoya nail polish in there, which is Zoya Rochelle, which I just use one coat as a base. And then on top of that is oh, China Glaze Cleopatra. So that's what I'm wearing, in case you're wondering. Okay, so let's get on with it. So this is my collection for OPI and China Glaze. So not a lot here as you can see but that's how I like it. I just have my brights and reds, my golds, um, I have like some like bronze and like a green glitter back there. Back here I have like cream neutrals and then I have my pastels. So I'm gonna start on this side. So actually let me get in close here. Okay, so this is China Glaze Glacier, and this is so pretty. I especially love this glitter during winter. It just reminds me of like a snow globe. It's just so beautiful. And so I would use that over the top of anything, really, like any of the pastels. It's beautiful over, or if you have like white, really gorgeous. And this is OPI Bubble Bath. And a lot of you probably already are familiar with this. It's it it is kind of sheer. Like I usually do about two coats, and it's still kind of sheer. Like you can see the nail line, um, but it gives like a clean kind of French manicure look. This is OPI Play the Peonies, and this is a kind of a frost. It's a shimmer, and it's it's like a pale seashell kind of color. This is Mod About You. This is one of my all-time favorite pastel pinks, and I would recommend this to anyone who loves pink. It's just beautiful. This is Lucky Lucky Lavender. This is another one of my all-time favorite pinks. A very cool tone. As the, as the name suggests, it is um, kind of a lavender pink. And this is one of my favorite glitters here. This is OPI Teenage Dream. Look how beautiful that glitter is. So it is like a pale pink with iridescent flecks. Okay, so that's all for my pastels. Now moving on to my golds. So this one is China Glaze Gilded Treasures. And this, this is kind of like a love-hate <laughs> relationship with me. Um, I have used quite a bit of it. It's about halfway gone. So I do use it a lot, but it does not dry quickly uh, by any means. It takes a long time, just one thin little coat. It takes quite a while, but the color is so beautiful. It's, you know, it's like a gorgeous soft gold, like a golden beige with these gold flecks in it. And I have yet to find a, a dupe for this. Um, like if, if OPI or say if Zoya or someone else comes out with something exactly like this, I would definitely switch to it. But for now, I haven't been able to find a duplicate for this one. Now this is the one I just showed you that I'm wearing. This is China Glaze Cleopatra. And this is more of like a kind of like a rose gold almost like a hint of bronziness to it. Super beautiful glitter. One of my all-time favorites. And I've actually, this is my second bottle of it. I've already gone through one bottle. This is Medallion by China Glaze. And this one is kind of like a cooler tone gold with iridescent flecks.
This is one that I was wearing um, last week. This is China Glaze Gold Digger. And this is another kind of cool tone gold. It's almost like a silvery gold. I don't know, maybe, maybe kind of like a platinum gold. Really beautiful. That's another favorite. Now, um, I'll tell you right now, one of my all-time favorite gold glitter combinations is Gold Digger over the top of OPI Glitzerlin. And I do love this. I have worn this a lot. And in fact, this is my second bottle as well. So, really gorgeous gold. And then this one in the middle here, this doesn't get a lot of love from me, but it is pretty, but I'll tell you why in a minute here. So this is Bring On The Bling. And this, I believe, came out with the Burlesque, OPI Burlesque collection last year. Now, although it is beautiful, I'm going to tell you why I don't wear it a whole lot, and I should probably give it away. It's because it has kind of, well, I want to say like red and green flecks in it, and it just doesn't come off as pretty as my other golds on my nails. I mean, it looks great in the bottle, but that red and green just like stand out a little too much on my nails. Okay, um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do the ones in the back here before I move on to my brights. So back on this side, these are the creams. Like my neutral, nudie creams. This, I really like this color a lot. This is a taupe the Space Needle by OPI. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's almost like one of those kind of army colors. Like a dark khaki is really really nice I like this one a lot and then oh and I should mention this is kind of more of a cooler tone and this is a little bit warmer of a nude I'd say this is Sant'Antonio by OPI so um, I don't really have a whole lot to say about these um, I don't wear them as much as I should, especially this one. I do like it a lot. I want to wear it more. Um, this one, sometimes it can look a little warm on me. It just depends. Depends on the mood. You know how it goes. Okay, so a few other ones that don't get enough love for me are these three back here. Now, this green glitter here is another one from the OPI Burlesque Collection. And this is glow up already. Um, and I don't know, I thought the green was really neat when I first bought it, but I don't know, on me it just doesn't look, like I think I like army green creams on me, but the glitter, I'm not sure about it. So that one, that one might have to leave my collection. This one is, okay, this is Brisbane Bronze. And I'm going to tell you right now that I bought this solely because of the name, because of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, because I'm like totally obsessed with Australia. I love everything Australia. So yeah, I bought this because of the name, but it is really pretty. And I thought, you know, it would be nice for fall maybe, but I have yet to wear it. So I'll have to give that one a test run. This one I've had for a long time, and I actually originally bought it to do leopard print nails, which I do wear every so often. This is Platinum Gold. So it's just kind of like a, a light bronzy color with a hint of gold to it. Okay, moving on to my brights. So I'm going to start on the pink end here. This is... Japanese Rose Garden, and this is a really pretty, kind of like dusty rose pink. I like that one a lot. This is Strawberry Margarita, one of my favorites, and I think this is probably one of OPI's most popular pink shades. It's like just your perfect bright pink. And it's not like a neon, it's just like a, you know, like a true, I don't know, true hot pink. This is Dutch Tulips, 
And I originally bought this thinking that it would be kind of like one of those pinky reds. I kind of like that in-between kind of color, like a red pink. But it's actually more red when it goes on. But that's okay. I, I still like it. I like it a lot. And the formula is great on that. Okay, this one is OPI Be a Dahlia Won't You. And I do love this one. It is so pretty. In fact, I'm wearing this on my toes right now. And it's basically, it's like a fuchsia, like fuchsia pink with the tiniest micro glitter, like fuchsia micro glitter. It's very pearly, but it doesn't look too frosty. It just looks like, you know, like nice micro glitter. And I'm sure that my pinks probably aren't coming up true on camera because for some reason pink never does on my camera. Or it, it, once it gets uploaded to YouTube, it's like the colors kind of change. So it's always, I don't know, always kind of weird. So I hope, hope I'm explaining these so you guys can at least imagine what it's like. Okay, so this red, this is The Show Must Go On. This is another polish from the OPI Burlesque Collection. Now, this doesn't seem to be coming up true. This is a really gorgeous red with micro glitter. It's getting dark, so my color is kind of changing on the camera. But anyways, that one is beautiful. And this one next to it is China Glaze Ruby Pumps. And that one is really pretty as well. I got this to wear during the holidays. Actually, I've, I've had it since last year, and I did wear it a lot during the winter. Super pretty. Okay, so that is all of my OPI and China Glaze. So, as you can see, it's definitely, it's not a large collection, and I'm happy for that. I like having, you know, just the, the main colors that I really love and that get a lot of attention. So, as for, like, some of the ones that I don't wear, I don't know, I may need to, um give those to a friend or something. So, okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.